There's not long to wait. On March 21st, all eyes will be on Aintree. It'll be Grand National Day. Hence, at Neville Crump's training quarters, some of the hopefuls are working up to peak fitness. Nothing less is good enough in the world's greatest steeplechase. Leading the string here are Dormant and Victory Day. Springbok receiving all the best treatment. Over to Lamborn, football wins quarters with the trainer himself up on Mandarin. Going well here, Plumber's Plain. Team Spirit leading a group which includes Millhouse. Tom Tapp's stables are at Rathcool, County Dublin. A reminder that Ireland is the place where they breed Grand National winners. Loving record looks very good. The trainer's son Toss is, of course, a familiar figure at Aintree. Let's look at Draper's stables and the trainer with Willow King, owned jointly by the Duchess of Westminster and Mrs. Winnery. At the O'Brien stables, County Kilkenny, is Blunt's Cross, a good-looking ten-year-old. Another entry by the stable is Bazier. Foncie O'Brien rode a second in the National, Royal Tan, in 51. The Grey Flying Wild and Gale Force 10 are trained by Dan Moore in County Meath. The sire of Flying Wild was an Epsom Derby winner, Airborne. They'll soon be milling around at the start of the 1964 Grand National. This year, Pappy News will film it in super widescreen Technoscope in Technicolor. All the thrills and spectacle of the world's greatest steeplechase as you have never seen it before.